Hey there Scorpio, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This one is for September 11th to the 17th. So let's jump in and see what's on the card, Scorpio. I've got that one there. But before I do dive in, just to let you know if you wouldn't mind hitting the, the like button, that would help me out so much. Um, also think about dropping me a comment and if you like the readings hit subscribe. I'm really interactive in the in the comments and I love getting to know you guys and communicating with you that way and building the community. And it also helps the, the reach of the videos because it's all engagement based here on YouTube. So if we don't get that, there's they just go out there, no one really sees them, it's not really much point and it makes it unsustainable for creators. So that would be amazing. Uh, also, if you'd like a personal reading at any time, first link down below will take you to my website to check them out. I also have a freebie, a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you'd like to get started with reading the cards. Or if you'd like to dive in further to your tarot journey, I have a paid offering called The Initiation. Now that is an immersive online course. I teach a full foundation in tarot and my signature professional reading process so that by the end of that, you'll be able to do readings, put it all together, develop your intuition so you can read for yourself, your family, your friends, and hey, maybe even paid readings if that is your calling. You can build a great extra income stream with that. Um, you'll also find the link to my karmic community that is my free email newsletter and Instagram I'm super active over there look for the blue tech account um, I am dropping daily readings and other content over there so you might want to be part of that too okay announcements done let's jump in let's see what that card was that earned over mm. have faith in your dreams waxing crescent moon right now this is an interesting one because if you don't believe in your dream scorpio how can anyone else how can the universe it's funny because when you have unshakable belief in you know in your dream and what you're doing and you speak to your family and your friends and your colleagues about your dream people believe you and believe that it will happen and believe that you're committed to it and they'll start um supporting you in your mission right they might tell you about opportunities that are linked to your dream. They might give you great advice. So if you keep it in and if you don't really believe, then you're doing yourself a disservice. So you're, whoops, <laughs> you're being asked to not throw your dream away. You're being asked to have faith in your dream and come back to that, commit to it, own it, and start taking action. Maybe you're in the process of trying to work towards a goal or dream. If so, this is saying, don't give up. In fact, reinvest and believe. Unshakable belief is such an incredible tool in you actually uh, making manifestations happen. Okay, Scorpio, I've got just the major arcana here, which are the big themes, big life lessons in tarot. And for you, I have all temperance and I'm getting excited about that for a reason because this for me is like a, a divine sweet spot energy, right? Temperance. You've probably heard the word tempering when it comes to chocolate, right? Most of us like chocolate and really like tempering chocolate is when we heat it to that perfect temperature that when it, you know, sets and cools, uh, we snap it, it has the beautiful gloss on it and it makes that perfect crack noise. So temperance says that there's a perfect balance or a, a divine sweet spot for your dream you know coming up lining up it talks about the right ingredients the right meld the right alchemy so maybe there's a you know a resource a, a person um, an opportunity that is coming that is going to support you in your dream temperance is a guardian angel energy it is a divine protection, divine guidance. There might be a past loved one that is orchestrating or, or guiding you in some way. And temperance usually opens a new path, right? Links to the Ace of Pentacles for me. So there could be a new solid step or milestone or opportunity reached towards your dream. Have faith in your dreams, right? Your guides believe in it. You need to too, Scorpio. All right, let's get the cards out. I'm going to draw four cards from the right of weight. We'll get those out. I'll then clarify with that Star Child Tarot, that beautiful uh, purple deck there. As I read the situational energy, you'll be interested in that because that's a breakthrough energy. 
and it is a new beginning, an inspired new beginning. Your challenge, oh, challenge is temperance. Okay, that is very interesting. It's your lead energy, it's also your challenge energy. Ace of Wands is your advice. Wow, double aces with temperance in between. Let's get an outcome here. Mm, King of Pentacles. Sorry, King of Swords. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So you might be overcoming some kind of lack of resources, some kind of loss here. Have faith in your dreams. Okay. Let's clarify. Oh, the Empress. This is huge. Okay. So these are incredible energies, by the way. Double Temperance, Double Aces, and Empress. Like this is a very beautiful reading, like one of your best here. Now, okay, a few things here. The Ace of Swords and the King of Swords hanging out at the end of the reading is this reinvention, reinvigoration, inspiration, innovation. Have faith in your dreams. Is there a new insight? Is there something new you can bring to this? Temperance, remember the right meld. It feels like you need to approach things from a slightly different um angle or perspective now you're being asked king of swords i'm tuning into that energy because it applies here to to zoom out and see the big picture to take take a step back because you need to see this from a bigger like a bigger grander scheme of things perspective that will show you maybe where the gaps are what you need um also the king of swords is a hindsight is your foresight energy meaning What's happened so far here will generally persist and you'll get more of the same unless we act in the energy of transformation or we bring in something to the meld, right? So what I'm feeling, you need to have faith in your dreams and keep going, but there's something else to bring in here. And you might have already had an insight, an idea, an inspiration, learned a truth, had a conversation with someone that leads to that breakthrough. The Empress is here and she wants you to let go, Scorpio, of the, the, the vision that you have in your mind of how it all should look, feel and go, right? The expectations of the process and the way this is going to come into your life, to let go of that because we all know that we make a plan and yes, you need to plan, I'm a huge believer in planning, but we also need to have an element of surrender. The Empress is the divine energy, divine feminine energy of also letting go and allowing things to unfold in their own weird, wonderful and magical way. We don't always get there in the way that we thought. And it doesn't always look like we thought it would look when we get to the dream. But maybe it's even better. Because remember, divine guidance and divine protection is always working in your best and highest good. So if it's not looking at the moment as you'd wanted, you're not being asked to abandon this. You're being asked to consider what might be missing, what you may need, and what you may not be seeing to get back on track here. Because the Empress doesn't come into a reading unless, you know, things, you know, if, she, if she's in a reading, it means things have got the ability to go, to go Okay, explode right that was a terrible explosion noise I did by the way but um, you know what I mean she's gross she's abundance she's money she's fertility she says that there's a fertile opportunity and I'm just noticing here see that king's crown on the sword and the king of, of uh, swords here I keep want to say king of pentacles there's a direct link here so you need to be acting in your maturity but you need to be acting from the king of swords position which is using that big picture information to be the bigger party and make some decisions that will transform your pathway to the stream. Okay, and that's why temperance is in the, the challenge because maybe you know you, you weren't really working that process or things were out of balance um, and we've kind of explored why why that may be and what you may need right I've got the king, the queen of cups that has come through with that in the challenge position and the queen of cups is actually usually can be a person in your life that gives you very good advice very good counsel so it can be a psychologist a therapist a healer a counselor 
me, tarot reader. Um, it could be a family member too, or, or a dear friend. So this, the Queen of Cups holds the Ace of Cups, right? The missing piece. So it could come through a conversation with someone where maybe you run an idea by them, or they offer help, or a pearl of wisdom, or something like that. Um, they bring you bring you a missing piece here. Now, the difference about the Queen of Cups is that this is somebody who's operating from heart and intuition. Now, that might be something that maybe doesn't come naturally to you, or you have been more King of Swordsy about this, and I do suggest that you be King of Swordsy, but we need to do that in equal measures with emotional intelligence and intuition as well. So there could be something there and you're being asked to feel into and use those skills uh, with this kind of decision making or this process towards your dreams. Right now the Ace of Wands is the advice. So again we come back to there is new energy to come into this or a new pathway to this that is opening up for you. Oof, I've got a star that was joined to that card. I Oh, that was the Ace of Swords underneath it though. So you know, double down on that. Um, this is Aquarian energy. The King of Swords is Aquarian energy. And of course, the Aquarian energy is about your skills, your talents, your uniqueness, your um, being fully you, that being your gift that you bring to this as well. The star, I know it sounds cheesy, but it talks about stars aligning. I think that's specifically relevant to this message because Temperance talks about like I said, that bringing together that meld of, of, of ingredients in this divine sweet spot for working this alchemy and the star is very much, um, you know, those stars aligning for the, like a resurrection or rebirth of this dream. The Empress birthing this, maybe you've put it on hold, maybe you haven't been going full power, maybe you haven't been looking from all angles, maybe there's been a big block here. But this is spirit saying, okay, cool, that's all good, Scorpio, but let's get, let's refocus, right? Time out, let's refocus and let's get back to business. Now, the Ace of Wands is here, and it's usually, it's new energy, it's new beginning, it's new inspiration, new energy coming into this. Maybe through one of the things that we've already discussed, um, or it's a new opportunity towards that, towards that dream. Mm, the star, yeah, things coming into balance, recalibrating, but also, like, and also what I'm feeling, if you were at all hiding away here, or remember we started with that message of belief, and that maybe you haven't been sharing this, and you've been keeping it to yourself, or maybe not talking in, like, really, like, in the terms that this is really going to happen, you need to change that, right? Because the star is, is about hope and it's about faith and it's also about vulnerability and exposing this dream, exposing it and talking about it and talking about it like it's already here and starting to embody it. And even doing that, as we talked about at the start of the reading, will have people come forward with ingredients that you need. What ingredient do you need? Finance, opportunity, connections. You know, someone to give you a give you a chance. Well, it's all here. The Ace of Wands can be any one of those things, and that's what shifts the weight and new potential and leads to new decisions. Leads to you being a bigger player in, in whatever it is that you're trying to achieve here. Yeah, has you really leading the charge? Oh, double kings, double kings, seven of swords at the bottom of the deck is a reminder not to sabotage by keeping that within. I would keep on saying King of Pentacles or wanting to say it, but instead I've got the King of Wands and the King of Swords here. I also have a Queen of Cups. It's funny that I was drawing in on the Pentacles energy because that's actually what's missing from this reading. I don't have any Pentacles cards. So it could be that through these other energies you will get funding, you'll get investment, you will lead to more abundance, but at the moment that's missing, right? Now, King of Wands, these are natural uh, leadership energies that are asking you to step into your power. Now, the King of Wands is Leo. Have strength, courage, bravery, determination, keep going, keep working towards this from a strategic, innovative perspective. 
Now the King of Wands, very entrepreneurial. This could be an entrepreneurial business for um, pathway for some of you with your own business or trying to step up in leaderships of something. Becoming an industry leader in your, your, your zone of genius. Um, I'm feeling more that that kind of journey, right? I'm feeling more that kind of journey. And I, and I just keep coming back to that new moon. Look at the king looking up at the new moon. Look at have faith in your dreams with the new moon. Look at the queen of cups with the new moon. And the new moon is like, you know, things are going to start building again. We're at the start of a new build phase, right? We're at the start of a new build phase. And, you know, you're being asked to focus on that. To use your vision, your discretion, and hold steadfast in that. But what's missing is the pentacles, earthly action, grounded planning, you know, tangible results and outcomes. And I think we've talked about how we can get back to that, how we can actually bring that through. So that's essentially what I what I do have for you, Scorpio. I hope that resonated for someone. Um, we've got new energy coming into this have faith in your dreams we've got a divine hand at work in your life we've got incredible energy here like one of your best there's it's all positive but there's some little tweaks we're tempering chocolate remember we uh we have to take care and the devil's in the details and we're dealing with a fragile balance and a fragile mix and alchemy here because you're trying to do something that other people you know don't do or haven't achieved right so we're working in a different realm, different level of energy is what I'm feeling. So Scorpio, I will leave you with that and I hope it resonated. If you'd like to tune into your specific circumstance rather than this general energy, first link down below will take you to my website to book a reading. Um, what else? Yes, um, please do like, share, comment, hit subscribe. That's the important bit that I usually miss out saying in my readings, but I'm trying to really get that in there because that would make all the difference. And um, yeah, come across to Instagram if you're interested in daily content. I am sending you so much love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.